I'm going to show you how to do the garter tab cast on. This is how I start a lot of my top down shawls and it begins really small with this little garter stitch cast on that continues into the garter stitch edge. This is the painting bricks shawl that has the garter tab cast on and this is the striped Aceon shawl that also has that beautiful garter tab beginning here in silver. I'm going to cast on three stitches. You can use any cast on you like. Get three stitches onto the needle and then knit those three stitches for seven rows. I'm knitting my seven rows back and forth. If you lose track of counting, just look for three garter ridges on each side. And when in doubt, you can always knit an extra row. So I've knit seven rows. After you finish that seventh row, don't turn around to knit the other side. Keep looking. This is the last stitch you knit. The yarn is hanging to the left and rotate. We're gonna pick up three stitches along the garter edge. There, there are these big garter bumps on the top of the work. I slide my spare needle into those three bumps like it's a car going through a stitch tunnel. There are tiny little side bumps, but those are kind of tight. So go into the big bumps, one, two, three, and knit each of those stitches. You should now have six total stitches, three, three, turn to pick up three more stitches along the cast on edge. I'm going to do these one at a time. One, two, three. You can get any three strands of yarn that you can find along that cast on edge. Number one, let's see, find number two. There's a strand right there. It's a little tight. So I'm gonna dive into the front. This strand also works. There's no rules for this. Just get any three strands of yarn. Here's a loose strand right here for number three. You can knit into the front or the back. Just end up with nine total stitches. If there's a hole or if anything looks funky, you can use your tail of yarn from the cast on and do some surgery. We can bend the rules. So nine total stitches, keep following the pattern. Most of my patterns use three and three stitches for the edge with three in the middle, but just pay attention to the pattern and the stitch counts. Sometimes the garter tab cast on varies with the stitch counts, but that's the basic foundation. And this is what we just did, this top center part. Here is that garter tab of the painting bricks shawl. It begins really tiny and then grows into the long wingspan edge. It doesn't roll, it doesn't curl, it just gives a crisp wingspan edge as you play with slip stitches, chevrons, marled knitting. So I use that same tab beginning and then play with different stripes. This is the Salmon Shawl with three shades of glow hair and three shades of West Wool Bicycle. Two strands held together. You have that garter stitch wingspan edge and it grows all the way to the border. So salmon begins that way. Herbivore is one of my smaller shawls with just two skeins of fingering weight yarn. You can use sport weight yarn as well. There's that garter tab and then yarn overs and twisted stitches. Grow, grow, grow all the way to the border. Stripified also begins with the garter tab and just 10 colors. So herbivore has just one color, two skeins of one color, 10 colors for stripified creates this large semicircular shawl. And there's the garter tab. Canal ring is a little bit of a variation off of the garter tab, but I used twisted ribbing. So it starts at the top center using the same foundations of picking up and picking up along the cast on edge, but then I added twisted stitches and increased the wingspan edge. So I really loved how this border increased, decreased, increased and decreased to make these waves inspired by the canal rings of Amsterdam. 
So once you do the garter tab, you gotta practice it, master it. You can knit all these West Knit shawls and you gotta post your progress and I can like it and comment and say, you need to make another one because you're gonna be addicted and you're gonna be swarmed and surrounded by shawls. So I hope you enjoy this uh, technique tutorial and that you have a wonderful time knitting this week. So keep on knitting, kittens.